Welcome to my brief tutorial on how to crop images in Lightroom. So starting from our library, we're going to select an image, double click on it to bring open the loop view, and then go over to the develop module by clicking develop up here. So to make a crop, I go to this box right here that will say crop overlay if you hold the cursor over it. I click it once and that brings up the cropping tools. If I go to any corner of the image, I can now get this little cursor here, which means I can choose where to crop it. I can also go to just one side and do the same thing. The reason that by resizing only one dimension is actually changing the other dimension is because over here I have locked the aspect ratio. If I click the lock I can unlock it and now I can change just one dimension and the other one will remain unchanged. There's a list right here of ratios. You should probably either stick with the original ratio or one of the ratios right here. These are some traditional ratios for print and photographic materials. And if you intend to print, you really want to stick with one of these unless you're interested in paying for a custom frame. You can find mats and frames pre-made for a 5x7 print. You're not going to find that for a 5x7 and a half inch print. You're going to have to pay 10 times as much potentially just to frame that same image. Also stay away from these. These are screen aspect ratios for televisions and computer monitors. You don't want to go here. Either stick with your original or go with one of these guys. And for the sake of it, let's say we'll go with a 4x5, which is very slightly different from the way my camera originally shot it. Okay. Another thing I can do is I can rotate using the crop. So if I go to any side or a corner and move slightly further away from the crop control here, it moves from resize to rotate. And now, when I drag, I can rotate. And in this case, in this photo, all I really want to do is get those slats in the boardwalk about level with the bottom of the photo. So I can go like that. I'm going to lose a little bit, but not much. So there, by hitting enter or clicking done, you can make a nice clean crop like that. And if I click the tool again, I'm right back where I was. And maybe I want to get more of this tree in the view, I don't know. So I could try this, just drag it. So let's reset the crop here for a minute and look at one other option, which is in some cases you may find that while you shot a photo in landscape, that is, that it's wider than it is tall, you may want to switch to portrait, which is taller than it is wide. So to do that, go to any of your edges and get the cursor so that it's going to resize. So I can go like that. Now, this is a knack that is, you're, it's going to be really hard for you to see what's going on just looking at the screen. But essentially, if I'm in landscape and I'm in this corner, I want to kind of start moving to the left until it pops and does this. And if I want to bring it back to landscape from where I've got it right here in, in this upper right corner, I'm going to move to the right until it just kind of suddenly pops. And once you figure out how to do this, it's going to be really easy. But until then, you may be wondering what's going on. And now from this upper left corner, if I want to go to landscape again, I go sort of down and to the left. And if I want to go back to portrait, I'm going up and to the right. It's a little counterintuitive, but there you go. And that's just about all there is to cropping. Thanks for watching this tutorial.